Hey, this is Angie Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Azure Disk's Cheat Sheet. And this one's a long one. We got three pages, so let's jump into it. Azure Managed Disks are block level storage volumes that are managed by Azure and used within Azure VMs. Managed Disks are designed for 99.999 availability. That's three nines. Azure creates three replicas of your data, aligned for high durability. You can create up to 50,000 VM disks of a type of subscription per region, allowing you to create up to 1,000 VMs in a virtual machine set using the marketplace image. Managed Disks are integrated with availability sets, and it also supports availability zones. Azure Backup can be used to create a backup job with time-based backup and backup retention policies. You can use uh, rule-based access co controls to assign specific permissions for a managed disk to one or more users. You can directly import your virtual hard disk drives into Azure disks. You can use Azure private links to ensure traffic between Azure disks and VMs stay within the Microsoft network. Azure managed disks support two types of encryption. You got SSC by default and temporary disks are not encrypted by server side encryption unless you enable encryption hosts. So remember that exception. There are two types of keys that you can be managed, platform managed keys and customer managed keys. Then you have Azure disk encryption allows you to encrypt both the OS and data, uh, data disks using an Azure virtual machine. For Windows, it's gonna be, you're gonna be using BitLocker. For Linux encryption, you're gonna be using DMcrypt. Onto our second uh, slide here. There are three main disks um, roles in Azure, the data disk, the OS disk, the temporary disks. The data disk is a, a managed disk that is, is attached to a virtual machine to store application data or other data you need to keep. Registered SCSI drives are labeled with a letter that you choose, has a maximum of 32 gigabytes. The size of the VM determines how many data disks you can attach and the type of storage you can use. For the OS disk, every virtual machine has one attached operating system disk. The OS disk has a pre-installed OS, which, has, which was selected when the VM was created. The disk contains the boot Volume. The disk has a maximum capacity of four gigabytes. For temporary disks, most VMs contain a temporary disk, which is not a managed disk. Provides short-term storage of applications and processes and intended to uh, uh, to only store data such as page or swap files. Data on the temporary disk may be lost during a maintenance event or when you deploy a VM. During a successful standard reboot of the VM, data on the temporary disk will persist. The temporary disk is typically forward slash dev forward slash SDB on Linux. And you know what? I tried fixing this uh, uh, and this is my second go on it, but I still got a spelling mistake. We'll have to fix that, okay? Just erase that off the board there. Uh, and Windows VMs. Uh, Windows VMs, uh, the temporary disk is D by default, not encrypted by SSC unless you enable encryption at the host. Going on to managed disk snapshots is a read-only crash consistent full copy of a managed disk that is stored as a standard managed disk by default. Snapshots are point in time recovery. Snapshots exist independent of the source disk and can be used to create new managed disks. Snapshots are build based on used size. If you have a 64 gigabyte drive and only 10 gigabytes, you only build the 10 gigabytes. You can use a uh, size of your snapshot by looking, you can see the size of your snapshot by looking within the Azure usage report. Onto the last page here uh, for Azure disks, a managed custom image uh, can create an image of your disk from your VM, contains all managed disks associated with the VM, OS, and data disk, does all three, okay? And so, oops, <laughs> a snapshot doesn't have awareness of any disk except the one it contains. For a single disk, and you definitely need to know this, for a single disk, managed disk snapshots. For multiple disks, it's gonna be managed custom disks. Know the difference for your exam, okay? Azure offers four tiers of disks. We got Ultra, Premium SSD, Standard SSD, and Standard HDD. For Ultra disks, delivers high throughput, high IOPS, consistent low latency, and disk storage in Azure VMs. We have a bunch of details in between. Read if you like. Premium SSD, high performance and low latency, disk support for Azure VMs with input-output intensive workloads. Again, some additional information there. Standard SSD, cost-effective storage, optimized, option optimized for workloads that needs consistent performance at lower IOPS levels. And then that has a bit of details there. And then we have standard HHD, reliable low cost disk support for VMs running a latency intent, uh, insensitive workloads. So available all of VMs, et cetera, et cetera. And there you go. But just know the, the key concepts here that you wanna know what these disks are for, okay? So the main, the main line there, all right? So we're at the end there and uh, yeah, there you go.